Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the National Guard products number 112N DKB. This is a, uh, well, they call it, it's a door bottom, uh, is what it is, certainly. This could also be used, uh, first of all, it's a door bottom. It will mount to the bottom of your door, go between the bottom of the door and your sill is basically concealed uh, when the door is closed or open regardless unless you get your head down on the floor and look you're not really going to see any of it you could also use this uh, frankly for a variety of applications I've had people use this as a um, a way to help mitigate water movement in a handicap compliant sort of wheelchair sort of shower enclosure you could certainly use that as an astragal if you tipped it vertical, if, you're, if the space between the doors would allow for that. Um, I've also had people install this down onto the top of a double hung window when they want to help seal in the summertime when they put that window unit, it, uh, window unit in. They want to be able to seal that a bit better. I've also had, oh and by the way that person put it below as well and had the unit sit on top of it. I've also had people use it to help seal between the truck cap on your pickup truck and when they set it down onto the bed of the truck. So a variety of, uh, uh, of applications you could certainly just open your mind up to considering. Then also, uh, the 112 is representative of the dimensional properties of this item and what you're really dealing with is a piece of aluminum with the inserted black uh, neoprene synthetic rubber when it arrives to you the neoprene is generally loose it's not slid all the way through so you do have to force that all the way through and in and down it is uh, it can be a chore to pull that through um, especially if it's a seven foot sort of length uh, but nonetheless uh, it does have to be loose so that you can get to the screws that are behind there. Let's go over the dimensional properties of this item first. And below this video there is a image that shows the dimensional properties. One and three sixteenths is the width of the aluminum extrusion. Then they've got a three quarter inch overall height. Tape measure makes that appear to be ever just so slightly short on three quarter. So you want to keep that in mind. You could certainly surface mount this as an astral or a door sweep. You could even mortise it, I suppose, if you wanted to kick it back a bit. Uh, you could uh, very neatly do that. I could even envision a way if you had a uh, specialty or if you have a slotting bit as well, you might be able to make that so that you've got some wood coming over and projecting over the top of the aluminum. You really needed to get uh, particular about your application on how you're going to mortise for this if you were to. I would even suggest that you could mortise it and then put some springs behind here and give yourself that eighth of an inch or so adjustability on the flattened portion of the aluminum so that if you used it as an astragal you could uh, adjust that with time you know you got a pair of doors in the church and uh, day one they're great they work great day 2000 <laughs> the doors have s sunk in a little bit so it'd be nice if you mortised that unit in if it was to be a an astragal you can tighten the screws up and draw the aluminum back in and cheat that weather stripping back ever so slightly to account for the change in condition. Uh, also available in the uh, clear anodized aluminum finish which would be the 112N. In absence of the DKB you're going to get the other finish and I just said clear anodized I was wrong it's mill aluminum would be the other option on this and speaking of other options there is a link below this video to a document called product brochure that will allow you to review this and some of National Guard's sister products to this. U-shaped door bottoms of a couple of different profiles with and without drip caps. L-shaped door bottoms as well. Very handy document to have access to from National Guard. Now, with this video review, you've got two finishes and it's listed in the website in about 12 or 15 lengths, 2 foot to 8 foot, 4 inch increments, 2 inch increments, 6 inch increments, whatever it is. Um, if you have need for a custom length, simply indicate in the comment field the net length that you'd like for us to cut the material back to. The reasoning is because we can supply it to you already cut to length very easily, very happily, not a problem at all. 
uh, the, 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 why you would want that. And it's just aluminum, so you can easily trim that. Uh, however, if you were to take, this happens to be a two-foot piece because this restaurant has pairs of two-foot French doors along their dining area. However, if you had 18-inch doors, and that's very common as well in a master bedroom, uh, uh, the coast of California, beautiful homes, pairs of one-foot-eight doors. If you were to cut a two-foot door, a two-foot piece down, which happens to be the shortest length in our site, down to 18-inch, you would eliminate that first slotted hole, and you'd be stuck drilling a new slotted hole. And of course, drilling a slotted hole is not easy. Um, after you've cut the item, doesn't really so much matter that the centers are not uniform because this is all concealed, the screw heads. And speaking of those screw heads, they're included in a complementary finish. Um, you might not have a good distance from the edge, however. The point being is if you want us to trim it to length, drill those, prep, punch those holes, the slotted holes at the proper distance from the edge, but the proper center to center as well, order the next longest piece. So in this case, order the 24 inch and then indicate in the comment field, cut these to 17 and 7 eighths or whatever the net length is that you'll need on that. Now this is neoprene, a synthetic rubber, extremely durable, uh, flexible yet stiff in the sense that I would not want to be grossly wrong with the undercut. I wouldn't want to try to have to smash that down to half inch that would really not work you're going to significantly decrease the lifespan by um, stuffing this into a hole that's too small you're going to crush the material over fatigue it uh, etc however it's extremely resistant uh, to intrusion of uh, of the elements energy uh, heat cold water things of that nature and people have even installed these under their doors to uh, here in Chicago to keep the water out well, in Arizona, sure, water is important to keep out as well, but, but so are scorpions, it uh, turns out. And uh, this is a very dense, uh, thick material that would be a great barrier to keeping the critters out as well. You're just going to want to make sure that you're not asking it to compress too much. I would really like to have myself not certainly not more than an eighth of an inch and, and not less than a sixteenth of an inch contact. Um, it, but your experience will tell you how to proceed uh, with doing that after having having done one. But that's where I would start. Finally, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the uh, National Guard products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the National Guard, 112N DKB door bottom, or any other National Guard product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.